beer out of clean. Our three rooms have come in flooring. And uh, the living room has been decorated, and he sent me some photos. And I'm wondering if anything can be done to refresh these floors. The house is seven years old, and I've lived here for two. And I've been using the uh, manufacturer's products, and now the floor looks a little bit tired. So let's go ahead, let's have a look at the photos he sent, and let's quickly discuss that. So, um, so here you can see this floor. It's a beautiful floor, but in places you can see it looks dry and tired and in need of a little bit of a refresh. There are resilient floors also referred to as um, uh, LVT, luxury vinyl tile. They're very resilient, they're very, very much waterproof as well, which makes them a very attractive floor, very hard wearing, and also somehow easy to repair because many of the times you can actually take a tile out and lay a new one in, and they're very, very tough. So over time, they do dull down though, and what you want to do is put a new dressing on. Now the addressing that is applied is an acrylic finish. Now acrylic finish is a little bit softer, but what that, that finish does, it acts as a sacrificial coat. So that means every time there's scuff marks or marks to the floor, that sacrificial coat will take the brunt of that pain. And over time, if the floor looks anything like Michael has sent over here, you can then say, well, we can refresh that. Now the good news is if you look at this floor, you can see there's marks on it, it's a bit worn it down. Um, but what you'll find is that that will be easily addressed if the floor is refreshed. So what would we do in a case like that to refresh the floor? Unfortunately, in my, in my attempt to give you the tools to refresh a floor like that yourself is not something I would say is, uh, in ca it would be, you would be capable of in a normal situation because you need advanced machines that can do the work and then something that rinse that floor down. What you can do to keep your floor looking as good as it can is to make sure you keep on top of the dry soil removal because sometimes it is the dry soil that sticks under your feet that cause that to wear. So my advice to you at home to keep that from happening is make sure you've got wall cork mats that grab that dry soil before it comes in, especially if you've got a gravel driveway. The gravel driveway breaks those little bits of sand up and it brings it into the home and that cause wear on that floor. So now I'm going to talk about what we will do once you've taken the care you can to protect your floor and then how you can take care of making that floor keep looking good. Um, so what we'll do is we will uh, reapply a dressing to that floor. Now the top coat of that floor is a polyurethane finish. Um, so we will be addressing, uh, addressing that floor, laying a new coat of uh, acrylic down. So let's go ahead and have a look at what we've got. I'm going to show you my close-up camera here. And the dressing we'll be applying is this product from Dr. Schutz. So what we found over time is that the standard dressings that comes for doing this work, including the products that are specified by the manufacturers, is that they have a bit of a sheen to them. So after applying three coats or so, which is what we would usually do to add as much protection to the floor as we can, we found that people say to us, oh, Pierre, you know what, it looks a bit shiny, it looks a bit plasticky. And that's when we started looking around because also what this does, it highlights any imperfections under the floor. If you look at our blog, you'll notice there is an article talking about those glue lines that appears from under the floor. And if you want to hide that, what you then need to do is use a dressing like I have here. This one I've shown you just a moment ago. Let me show you again. So what we do is we use the matte version. Now, even though the matte version is not totally matte, so let me show you. This one in particular came with uh, the problem of the glue lines that started appearing because it was very, very shiny. This actually is a lot of light that comes in that window over there. And uh, that caused that to look shiny, maybe a bit more than it is in reality. If you look at the closer up shot here, you'll notice that it's not actually that shiny, but it's just because of the light that comes in. But the, the, normal, um, the normal standard dressing that is supplied by the manufacturers of these products it tends to have in my eyes shine to it. So what we'll do is we'll thoroughly clean the floor. And then what we'll use is a special pad like this. It has got a very special abrasion to it. It's about 320 grit. And this will remove any imperfections on the floor without scratching it. And then uh, once that's clean and dry, we will then use a special flat mop to apply this dressing over the top. And that's when you'll get the uh, effect that you can see here. 
Um, so that looks beautiful and it's now well protected as well. Uh, so Michael, just quick question. Your question is, can this be done? Um, recapping the answer, uh, I want to help you at home as much as possible. So keep that uh, walk-off mat clean. Have some at the doorway. If you have a coir mat at the doorway and it's quite old, that's the time to change it, to catch that dry soil before it comes in the home. Now, if you are like Michael and you've got a floor like this one, let me go and show you that again. It has been worn down and it now is in need of making it look fresh and clean. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll come and use a special pad and then prepare the floor, clean it thoroughly, let it dry, and then apply a special dressing for you, a high quality dressing that is then a sacrificial coat. So Michael, absolutely, we can help you with that. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. So thank you for that. Thank you very much for that.